what's common between Israel, a country that has transformed the state of its deserts, and Gujarat, a state that has fueled the development of its country. Aridity, landscape, nature's vagaries, a thirst for knowledge, a passion for innovation, leadership in diamond processing, and above all, resilience. Israel and Gujarat, identical in character, individual in innovation. Gujarat has only 5% of India's population and 6% of its geographical area. But its contribution to the nation's economy and development is significant. 72% of India's gems and jewelry exports. 50% of India's stock market capitalization. 45% of national pharmaceutical production. 21% of India's export. Gujarat has always been a front runner and has several firsts to its credit. Ranked number one state in economic freedom index. Largest producer of natural gas in the country. Largest producer of denim in Asia. First to implement the river interlinking project. With a coastline of 1,600 kilometers, the longest in the country. Gujarat is the gateway to India. Gujarat ports cater to the vast Indian hinterland. Maximum number of ports in India. Two LNG terminals at Dahej and Hazira. And India's exclusive chemical port at Dahej. Gujarat handles 75% of India's private port cargo. Nature has a strange way of testing the capture of people. The more resilient they are, the more hardships it makes them go through. Drought prone it may be, but Gujarat is a state with a never say die attitude. Gujarat suffers from intense droughts, resulting in severe food and water shortages. Series of droughts in last two decades. In central and northern Gujarat, groundwater is the main source of irrigation. The average rainfall is about 700 millimeters while more than half of the talukas receive only about 300 millimeters rainfall, insufficient even for millets and other dry land crops. This map of Gujarat with aridity index contours shows that almost half of the state receives rainfall only up to 50% of its potential evapotranspiration, making it arid. The average annual rainfall at various locations in the state varies from less than 400 millimeters to over 2,000 millimeters. Despite the vagaries of nature, Gujarat's agriculture sector contributes 18% of the total state income. Largest producer of castor and fennel in the world. Largest producer of psyllium and tobacco in the country. Second largest producer of sesame, cotton and groundnut in the country. Value of agricultural produce increased from 90 billion rupees to 210 billion rupees last year. Sensing this potential of Gujarat becoming an agri-led economy, the government has gone ahead with several path-breaking initiatives, four agri-export zones and 396 market yards for boosting agro-processing industry. So a survey for every village to enhance agricultural productivity Four agriculture universities set up, soil health call, scientific analysis of land, lab to land campaign for knowledge transfer to farmers. Gujarat is ushering in a second green revolution, one lakh acres under drip irrigation, conservation of water through more than one lakh water harvesting structures and check dams, Sujalam Supalam project, interlinking of rivers. Krishi Mahotsa, Agri Festival conducted in 2005 and 2006, issue of credit cards and low interest loans to farmers. However, there are a few issues. Drinking cultivable land due to growing needs of the population 